backstage with Curtis Blade. Curtis, first off, huge victory here in Abu Dhabi. I mean, watching it Octagon side, it was violent. Did you know at that moment that elbow was going to land the fight? Uh, yeah, because I when I landed it, he made an audible like ah, but in Russian, so I don't know how it sounds. But <laughs> it was like that. So I like guys don't do that unless it really hurts. So I knew he was really hurt. I knew just start pouring it on. He wanted to get out of there. Obviously, your wrestling show dominance once again, as it always does. How did you feel inside the octagon this time around? Uh, I felt great. Um, this is actually the lightest I've ever weighed in at a UFC fight. I thought it might be a slight disadvantage. He was a little heavier than me. But when I got in on his legs, he felt real light. So my strength was still there. Uh, quickness, endurance, everything. I felt great. Did at any point you feel threatened on the feet? Uh, not threatened, but... I, can't, I guess I kind of let people get in my head. Everyone's like, oh, are you worried about taking on a guy who's ranked number nine? You worried what that might do? So when he hit me, I was like, you know what? I can't play around with this guy. I'm going to do what I do best. Originally, I know Benny wanted me to like go out there and show what we've been doing, but I think I'm going to save that for a higher ranked opponent. Big risk for bigger opponents. Okay, fair enough. Speaking of other opponents, what what does the map look like for you right now? The only one that's... I'm not going backwards anymore. I've done it twice now, being a uh, company man for the UFC. Willis was ranked way below me. Shamil also, but I, I appreciate it. But I want someone ranked higher than me. I want to move up in the rankings. I know I'm not going to move up after this fight. This is the paycheck, which I do appreciate, but I'm trying to move up in the rankings and get that, that title shot. Obviously, the road to the belt is what you want next, but while you're here in Abu Dhabi, how has fight week been for you? Are you staying any extra time? I mean, what has this whole experience been like for you? It's been a great experience. Um, without the UFC, I don't think I would have gone to half the places I've been. I never thought I'd go to Beijing, Australia. I never thought I'd be to the Middle East or the United Arab Emirates. Uh, this has been great. Um, the only drawback, I think, is the humidity. This is one of the most humid places I've ever been to. But uh, besides that, it's beautiful. The people are very chill. It seems more like an international city, a lot of different cultures and identities. And that's, I really like that. It feels like a melting pot. I feel welcome. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned the humidity, and I can't, I can't go without talking about it. I mean, every single person who's been here is affected by it in one way or another. Um, in terms of training, in terms of the warm-up for the fight and the fight itself, was there, any was there ever a point where that humidity or the heat was starting to affect you? No. Uh, they have they have us in like a room like this to warm up in, so it's very nice conditions. Uh, it wasn't a factor, but then immediately when you leave that that little area, it hits you. I was dripping be before I even got in the cage. Yeah. Well, it didn't seem to bother you inside the octagon. You still got that massive victory. Congratulations. Really looking forward to seeing what's next for you, Curtis. Thank you. Thanks.